exciting news for you. So I learned how to create myself as a GIF and many of you asked me if I could share a tutorial for you. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to GIF or GIF, whatever you say, yourself. So a couple of things for you to know before we get started. First of all, it does not matter what your background looks like. The website that we're going to use is going to take out your background, no matter what it looks like. It will cut out less of you, like little parts, like sometimes the fingers can sometimes disappear if the background is not fully solid. So if you can have a fully solid background, that will make it a little bit easier, but that's not a requirement for when you're making your video. The second thing for you to know is that it's important that you are using a device that allows you to make live photos. So I'm an Android user and I couldn't figure out at first how to do this on my phone. I now know, however, to show you what to do today, I'm going to use an Apple product because it's much easier to use the live photo feature on an iPhone or an iPad than it is to use it with an Android. If you'd like to see a video of me showing you how to create this with an Android phone, just let me know and I'll figure out how to screen record so I can do that for you guys. So what you're going to need today is an Apple product of some kind, whether that be an iPhone or an iPad and an access to a computer. If you have a Mac, that's going to make this process even easier for you. I don't, I have a PC computer, but I'll show you how you can upload your picture from your phone to your computer in order to get the background out and then add it to a Google slideshow. So let's go guys. To start, you're going to open up into your photos. Once there, you're going to want to make sure that the live feature is on. So you're going to want to click that button to make sure it says live on the very top. So it's going to take a live photo, then set a timer for your picture. When you're ready, set yourself up, decide how you want to look. I decided for that, this GIF, I was going to do thumbs up and just keep repeating that motion over and over again to make sure that it's going to pick it up for that live picture. So when you're feeling ready to go, what you are going to do is just click that button, take the picture, timer is going to count down, you can start practicing your action, it'll take the live part after the photo, then you can, you should have seen the live box come up, then you're, what you're going to do is head to your photo album. So once you're in photos, you're going to want to make sure you're at the feature that says albums on the very bottom of the screen, then you're going to want to scroll down until you see where it says live photos, click there. Once you're in live photos, you're going to want to find the picture that you want to use. When you find that picture, it's not going to be moving yet. So you're going to want to make any edits. So up at the top corner, you can click edits. You can use the auto feature. You can play around with the brightness, the vibrance, your saturation, anything that you want to do to make your picture look any better, totally optional and up to you. Once you're done doing that, you can exit, save those changes, swipe up. Once you swipe up underneath, you're going to see there's options for loop or bounce. You're going to pick one of these to make your GIF. This first option here is where I clicked bounce, oh, sorry, loop. And as you can see, like my face kind of like gets in there. So I prefer the bounce option because it doesn't have that weird transition. The bounce just keeps bouncing the live photo back and forth over and over again without offering that loop feature. Once you're happy with the way that the GIF looks, you're going to want to save this photo. So you're going to click the save or export option, and then I'm going to send it to my drive. At this point in time, you could send it as an airdrop if you have a Mac, but I'm going to attach this to a folder in my Google Drive so that I can find the document or sorry, the GIF very easily on my computer. So I'm going to just add that to my Google Drive, found a folder that I wanted to, and it's uploading now. So from here, I'm going to swap to my desktop and I'm going to go immediately to open up Google Drive. So I'm going to click my nine dots, head to my drive. Here, I'm going to look for that photo or video I just uploaded of the GIF. I'm either going to be able to find that in my recents or I can look for the folder. It might also pop up in the quick access as it does. Then I'm going to click this image and download it to my computer so that I'll be able to upload it to the website that I'm planning to use. So once it's fully downloaded, I'll open up a new tab. There, you'll go to unscreen.com open that up where then you're going to move the clip. So we're going to need to upload the clip. This is a website that's going to get rid of the background for us, which is what we need to make this a good GIF. So we're going to click upload our clip 
And once we click that, we could have even dragged it over. We're gonna find the clip in our files, add it, and then it will start to upload there. Once it's fully uploaded, it should begin moving for us. And then as you can see, it's taken the background out completely. I'm happy with the way that this looks. I'm not gonna need to make any changes. I don't feel like I need to re-record this. So I'm gonna go over to where it says download and click that down arrow. After clicking that arrow, you're gonna click GIF. And this is gonna download and export this GIF for you to be able to use anywhere you want on your computer. So this is gonna be a GIF file on your computer for you to use. It takes a little bit for it to fully download just because of the size of the image, but once it's done, you are good to go and use it however you'd like. So I'm gonna show you how you can add this to a Google Slideshow. So just head on over, open up a blank Google Slides. I'm thinking that this might be something I use for my uh, introductory slideshow to kind of introduce myself to my students. Just to make this a little bit easier for you guys, I'm gonna open up a blank tab, like a blank slide for you, and that's where I'm gonna put this image. So there's two ways for you to do this. You could drag the GIF down from the bottom of the screen, and we can drag it right in to the image. As you see, it says it's creating there now, and then after a little bit, this GIF will appear. There we go. So that's one option for you of what you could do to add the image. If you don't have that download bar up here, what you can do is instead click the insert button and then images followed by upload from computer. Then you can look on your downloads to find where that image is. It'll say unscreen next to it. You can open that image and then that GIF will immediately appear and you're good to go. Another option for you after you've learned how to add this GIF into your slideshow and you get comfortable making them, you can even include them in your Google Classroom. So I'm just going to show you the header that I made in my Google Classroom. If this is something that you'd be interested in learning how to make, let me know and I can make a tutorial for that as well. Thanks guys.